There were some sort of lyrics in a song from Rodeo by Sunny Wonder called Kids Heard Songs 2. Before I tell you all about it, I know what you're going to say. You're about to say, where's the first one? That's none of your business. I'm pretty sure the first one is on YouTube, including the second one. Okay, so Kids Heard Songs is from Sesame Street. It was part of a two-movie series. No. Not an actual movie. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm pissed after I saw a cursed copy of Kids Heard Songs 2. It caused cartoon characters, including movie, you know, whatever, to come into my house. I've had this strange feeling that it caused an imagination of money possible from different universes. Here's my story. What's up, my friend? My name is Anonymous. I'm going to tell you my experience with a creepy Sesame Street video. One day I was on my way home when I stepped on what appeared to be a copy of Kids Heard Songs 2. I took it home, unless it belonged to an old man who dropped it when he went to the Goodwill store. I sat my butt down and hit the video with my VCR. The tape started the warning screen and the Sunny Wonder logo, including the Sesame Workshop intro. But then something familiar happened. When the Elmas World Wild Wild West preview opened up, it was remade in cheesy CGI. I found it very awkward but continued on. It started out as a normal video would, so the color was distorted when Elva got to telling the viewers about their favorite song and nearly jumped through the song got to spaghetti. All that was on the screen was just Snuffy just walking down Sesame Street and not being interested in talking to the viewer. Only, there wasn't any music like there, was, like there usually was. It lasted about three and a half minutes, and then shows Snuffy talking about his experience with a big fat meatball. I just assumed that whoever put it online had edited it for time or something. The song was really cut off as it showed a black screen. The next scene showed Emma with a baseball bat sitting with the two girls that were in almost moments of what their favorite song was. The strange thing was, all the windows across Hesby Street were broken. One of the girls started crying. Very hard. But, it didn't sound like anything like it does when a kid normally cries. It sounded like a screamer. But it was still different. It's not so real intense. One girl was absolutely bawling. She started stripping her clothes off while screaming. And the camera zoomed really close on the girl's face. But it's a kind of zoom as it was being videotaped by a real person. And the camera zoomed out to show Big Bird hanging out of the noose and the stairs to the 123 building. It was very horrifying clone that last one. It got to the Hey Deal Deal song, except Edgar Turtle seemed angry and had pains of dead people on him. There were some bloody footprints scattered all over. He zoomed to his eye for a split second and zoomed back out. Edgar Turtle said, Hola, boom. I wanted to tell you where I could kill everyone. Then he pulled out a gun pointing at the screen and said, I'm going to give you five seconds to tell me or I'll kill your wife. Edgar knew about me? I didn't think so. It was probably just a joke. Then he started coming out of my TV, still holding his gun at me. I shut the tape off. Decided to forget about it. At least Edgar went away. He was probably invisible. I turned on the TV to find out Edgar was completely gone. So I put the tape back in. The next scene showed one of the kids talking about what early drawings do at night. Instead, Emma and one of the girl hit one. Girls, hit one of the girls with a baseball bat. Here's how it went. Girl one. This looks serious. The girl then walks toward the ever walk towards the ever girl. Elmo. I'll work too. And Elmo swings the bat into Liz's mouth. Blood flew out of Liz's mouth. Elmo. Are you ready as your pain? You're down. Then Elmo was chasing the two girls with a baseball bat. Girl one. Oh shit. I can't believe they swore. Girl 2. What is it? Arrgh! Girl 1. Oh, uh, nothing. The girls immediately ran out of the room. Snuffy noticed this, but Snuffy had a knife in her hands. Snuffy. You are right, little girl? What's the matter? Girl 1. I have bad news. I'm afraid one of the girls in the street has. Have... Girl 1. Uh, hold on. Snuffy. What? What is it? Girl 1. I didn't have schizophrenia. Snuffy. Schizophrenia? What's that? Girl 1. It's a deadly disease that has caused when someone keeps being scared and angry at the same time. I had enough of this garbage. I just got up and smashed the garbage out of the tape. Saw it with a little sore and tried to forget about it. My appetite was not in good shape. I ate some salads, egg whites, steak, 
and the ten vegan burgers. I decided to throw my bag of cereal not the cereal in my house after watching this. To be honest, the whole thing just made me sad, uncomfortable, and nauseous. I had almost lost my love on cereal. I opened the fridge, and a live box of pentagrams smelled me with a sinister smile. I'll tell you that much. Curiously, got the best of me, though. A few weeks later, it was nightmares while you girls in the collective work later, I decided not to know what tape had on it. I mean, it was just a tape, right? It's not like, it's not like good things happen in these stories, and then it really, it really happens in real life. I mean, that never happens in these stories, right? I took a deep breath and looked in the mirror. Edgar Turtle, I said. He showed immediately, showed immediately. He thought I couldn't see in there, but I could. Edgar Turtle, I said the second time, and he started to move closer. I decided not to say it a third time. I know what you're thinking. I should have, right? Well, instead, I made a sandwich. Maybe you should consider a healthier choice, the voice whispered. I mean, it was him. He was right there in the corner, though I couldn't see him still. Yeah, he, <clears throat> he had even appeared. Even appeared. I thought that there was a camera installed under my desk, and someone in a van outside had been stalking me. I sighed loudly. I ate my sandwich and went to bed. And when I woke up, there were characters from my cart from my cartoons and movies that I watched in my first part of my house. Yes, I know you're tired of this. Well, so am I. The rack tech collection of cartoon catastrophes were all staying in my living room. Simply using my VCR player to watch a video from pe with people from India with birth defects, hardship, and Satan, and Devil. And I was thinking it was playing with a game with one of the girls and kids heard songs too. Emma and Jenny Fox were eating some or human organs in the fridge and smiling at me. And there was other characters like Gumball, Sonic, SpongeBob, and even more. The eyes in the many lots of episode characters paired to me. Stop immediately and begin to sing. Times have changed, our kids are getting worse. They won't obey their parents, they just want to murder and curse. Should we blame everyone or blame Jim Henson? Or should we blame the witches on TV? No, blame Satan, blame Satan. With all the beady little lies of laughing and hence the full of lies. Blame Satan, blame Satan. We need to form a fool to salt. It's Satan's fault. Don't blame me. For our viewers, it's all a darn cartoon, and now he's off to join the army. And my boy Gary, once I had my picture on his shelf, but now when I see him, he tells me to fuck myself. Well, blame Satan, blame Satan. It seems that everything's gone wrong since Satan came along. Blame Satan, blame Satan. And not even a real myth anyway. Do 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 do. I suck it a bit, but Satan is so all like evil. Get me old and bloody. It's that me. Burned up. She should be blamed the matches. She should be blamed the fire. Or the murder who will allow him to expire. Heck no. I am Satan. I am Satan. With all the hockey hubble. And that person I married to. I am Satan. She not Satan. For. Because I will stop the baby. We must smash the ladder. And murder you. Must be all be done. Must be never cause the fuss before someone thinks of blaming us. I still believe in God. Shut the fuck up. I yelled, get the fuck out of my house, what is this? Christian, who cleaned himself on doing a creepy noise, he sat next to a bowl of human organs. All part of a balanced breakfast. He attempted to dive into the bowl of organs in a realistic fashion. And Sarah cracked his head in the bowl and table and fell on the floor with a pair of concussion. Haven't seen you in a while, partner. I grew up to see, horrified at Satan, my old nemesis was alive well. Keep your spacey sprockets in your pants, you sick fuck. I heard that the crowbar from the warehouse. I cut shots of the video in my closet and still keep in there today so everyone doesn't see it. Uh, anyway, I locked my closet door and emailed Sonny Wonder, saying how inhumane to make an animation like that out of a children's cartoon. I also touched a duplicate copy of my email. They actually that they made in a secret room because there were hundreds of secret plans to make it into kids' favorite songs too, Satanic Edition, like the other respect was. But I got canceled due to negative response from the test viewers. I mean, Ben Sesame Street for my friends. The end.